بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so mostly in today's networks most of these traditional lisland connections are replaced with vpns now the basic difference in the in the vpns is uh, in vpn connection vpn stands for virtual private network so let's say i got a customer site uh, customer a is having some multiple sites in different locations now i want to make sure that these sites should be connected to each other now what we are going to do is we are going to use some uh, service for a transport network so we have some pre existing transport network which is uh, built by the service provider and this transport network can be either a frame delay or it can be an atm network it depends upon which technology used by the service provider or it can be some kind of mpls or it can be internet also so we can also build some uh, vpns over internet and that th- that will be our focus in the security classes majorly and this is like a pre existing network which is built by the service provider and service provider have some pre existing devices like routers or switches which are interconnected to each other and then the service provider network or the transport network allows you to connect the customer sites like here the customer is allowed to connect to the nearest service provider device so technically we call this as a provider edge devices so allowed to connect to the nearest service provider device any device so and then physically it is connecting to a service provider transport network but logically we will be assuming we will be like representing this as if these two sites are virtually connected so this is like a virtual private network so we can build some kind of point to point connections or point to multi point connections depending upon the type of the vpns or some layer 3 networks it depends like what what kind of technology or the transport network we are using so we can also assign some ip address in uh, at the end points and look as if they are physically connected to each other but again not in all the networks like if you're using some frame delay or atm networks we can have a virtual point to point or point to multi point connections uh, even in some other other scenarios like dm vpn we can have a point to multi point connections gre where point to point to point connections so it depends upon what technology we use and what type of vpn we are using but this all comes under a common umbrella called vpn but technically they all work uh, different from each other so vpn is is going to replace your most of the dedicated point to point lines or lease lines with the emulated point to point connections or point to multi point connections under a common infrastructure like this is one example of frame delay the only difference is when the packet enters the frame delay uses some kind of delc values similar to mac addresses uh, layer to address Uh, whereas mpls uses some kind of labels or you can also connect over internet internet based on some ip packets like public ips so the way it works inside the service for network it's totally different in different types of vpns so one of the main goal uh, of the vpns is it reduce the operational cost because compared to the lease lines it will reduce the cost and again depends upon what what kind of vpn actually we are using so all this uh, vpns comes under Uh, all these are the examples of the vpns and majorly our focus will be on ipsec vpns which will be focusing in the ccna security classes or in the np level also and also will be covering some other vpns like gre dm vpn uh, even some other vpns probably these all vpns uh, come over internet we can use and this transport network can be internet the pre existing internet where we can use some public ips between the endpoints and we can establish the virtual private network between the two endpoints so it it's not it's not compulsory that it should be internet it can be any transport network any transport network which is provided by the service provider 